South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster will be in TKK tomorrow to announce the arrival of Google Fiber broadband service. And as South Carolina Bureau Chief Shakir Speak shows us tonight, potential customers say they couldn't be happier. Slow download speeds and unstable internet connection from your only internet provider don't make a lot of people happy. Tika K neighbors say that they've been having those issues for a while now, but soon they'll have the option to try out another service because Google Fiber is coming to town. I'm really excited to have another option. Neighbors in Tiga K will have two options for internet providers, their current service provider, Comporium, or Google Fiber. City leaders now have a long-term contractual partnership with the company, making it South Carolina's first community to have two choices. We do a lot of filming here and a lot of like um, streaming, stuff like that, and so the speeds aren't great. <laughs> the speeds are not great. So it, we haven't been able to have another option. So when I heard about this, I was like, oh, yes, because it's perfect for us. Google Fiber is only available in 13 cities across 10 states. It provides Internet access to about 4.1 million people. Tiga K will be the 14th city. Ember Bird runs the Women of Fort Mill podcast. She records all day, dealing with a lot of upload and download issues. Slow speeds sometimes prevent her from having a smooth work experience. It can delay everything. It can also, it, it can change everything because when you lose footage and you lose something you're uploading, if it's not saved, there's been times where I have been trying to do something and I completely completely lost it and it's, it's frustrating when you put hours into something. Tiga K Mayor Chris Gray says the partnership will upgrade the city's technological infrastructure. He believes competition is healthy, especially when it could make his constituents happier. Residents, uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been a point of contingency for a while, um, but our residents, you know, yes, they would like another choice. Uh, yes, we would like to have somebody else come in you know, and for years, Nobody has wanted to come in and, and bring that infrastructure in because there is such a cost to doing so. The city council has at least two more readings before it becomes an ordinance. Mayor Chris Gray says it'll take at least another three to four years before Google Fiber is permanently installed in the city. For now, reporting in Tiga K, Shakir Speaks Queen, City News.